Hi guys, it's Shane here from Tank Hunter Miniatures, and today I'm going to go over some 3D printed Space Marine tanks you can make. Now the first one we'll go through is this conversion from a Rhino to a Hunter tank. Now the Hunter tanks were your primarily anti-air design tank, but in the newest edition they've become basically an anti-armored, anti-monster. Pretty much it's got a single shot with its large gun designed to just take out anything large. Um, really good, I always really like the design of this. Now as you can see, the print has the side armor parts to it uh, with the stabilizers down here. Uh, I found they didn't quite come out perfect. That could just be my printing skills. I've only been printing for about a year or so, so I'm not exactly the expert on it. But overall, once it was painted, it comes up pretty good. Once it's from a distance, it sort of blends in fine. Um, the actual turret itself is really good, really good design. It stays true to the original. I think most people, yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't really notice the difference. It does sit in the base plate there, which just, it just clipped on fine. This used to be a Razorback, of course. And it's all been converted to its final form. So yeah, really good job of this one. I uh, definitely would recommend it. If you've got old rhinos or razorbacks sitting around and you want something with a bit more higher firepower, uh, this is a great conversion kit to, to work with. Now the next one I wanted to show off was the Predator tank conversion. Now what you get with this print is the turret itself. Comes off just hollow in the middle. Uh, pretty good design uh, comparing to the old one. So it's got these smoother edges. Quite a different hatch. When you compare it to, I've got a Chaos Space Marine one here, which is more blocky, more rectangular. So it is quite a different design, but you know, it fits pretty fine. Like it's almost a Phobos pattern. So I would agree that this would blend in with your other tanks pretty well. I think most people are going to notice a difference. Like I said, it doesn't have quite the same sort of amount of detail as normal Predator tank, but I think it comes off pretty good. And like I said, the whole kit comes with everything you need to convert a standard uh, Rhino or Razorback uh, into a new Predator tank. I'll just show off on this one. The side sponsons because this one is a proper one that i've had uh it didn't have a turret on it so i was able to get it cheap that went missing along the way i guess so i only had the side sponsons you can see the normal design where they're sort of hanging there these are all enclosed sort of more like how a land raider has theirs in some cases uh the only thing i would mention uh, it doesn't actually have a loadout for the twin LAS cannon. I had to print the two side la LAS cannons and then just glue them on the side. Uh, it has a center hole in the middle for stabilizing the gun attachments because there are a lot of gun attachments that has with the file. But yeah, it didn't really accommodate for the twin LAS. So you sort of got to work that out yourself. But yeah, it was pretty easy. And lastly, what I wanted to go through was this seed shield. I found a really good printout for this. So this is based off your just classic Vindicator seed shield. Uh, as you can imagine, the only way to get one of these shields is to buy a whole Vindicator. Now, back in the day, you used to be able to put seed shields on all the vehicles, which is something we brought back for Tank Hunter. So this is very handy. I've made a bunch of these so pretty much in any list I can have a seed shield ready to put as an extra loadout for a tank. So I'll just bring the traditional. So that's your normal Games Workshop version and that's the printed version. 
So slightly different. Um, yeah, to a trained eye, you can tell this is the definitely the printed one. Uh, but overall, very, very good detail on these, I find. So overall, I'm very impressed with these prints. Uh, they came out pretty easy to make and really well detailed. Uh, fits the whole theme that I'm going with. And yeah, if you're in the need for some Space Marine tanks, uh, definitely should hit up these creators. Uh, definitely tip if you can. But that's all for now, guys. Um, there are plenty of more uh, tank printing kits out there. So I'm definitely going to be experimenting with a lot more to, in the days to come. So if you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Uh, until then, we'll see you then. Bye.